Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 14th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to do a fun thing or at least we're going to try to do a fun thing because we've been talking about a lot of C concepts and uh, it's getting a little heavy so you know for a change let's just write a program that does something interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to make a program that's going to ask the user to input distance in miles and then we're going to convert that value into distance in kilometers, feet and inches. Right. So as you can see, I've saved this file. It's called distance underscore conversion dot C on lines one and two. I have a comment that says input distance in miles convert to kilometers, feet and inches. On line three, I have the header file stdio.h on line four. I have the main function and I have my curly braces so we can type in code here. Now, you know, since we are going to ask the user to provide the value in miles, we will have to create a variable, right, because we're going to store the value that the user is going to provide in something and we're going to use a variable for that and it's going to be of floating point value right and I'm going to call this variable miles and uh, let's display a message on screen first let's ask uh, the user to give us a value so input distance in miles put a colon at the end and a semicolon to terminate the statement and then uh, let's use scanf to get the value and since uh, we're getting a floating point value we'll have to use the percentage f format specifier within double quotes here put a comma symbol and then give the address of the miles variable i do that by using the address of operator so and miles is going to give scanf the address and uh, well on the next line i'm going to display the value of the distance in kilometers and what i'm going to do that is by typing in value in kilometers is and uh, since we're displaying a floating point value and uh, we'll have to use a percentage of format specifier here and the conversion formula uh, to obtain distance in kilometers when you know the distance in miles is that one mile has 1.6 kilometers right so if you have 10 miles then that would have 16 kilometers so what you have to do is just multiply the value that's stored in the variable miles by 1.6 to get the value in kilometers so miles times 1.6 is going to do the job for us I'll put a semicolon to terminate this statement on the next line I'm going to use printf to display the value in well I should display the value in feet first before getting, getting to inches and I want this uh, line of output to be on a fresh line so I'll use the new line escape sequencer value in feet is again the percentage f format specifier and the conversion formula that we're going to use here is that one mile has 5280 feet right so you have to multiply the value that's stored in the variable miles with 5280 to get the value in feet so miles times 5280 and uh, in the next line, I'll have another printf statement, this time to display the value in inches. And uh, but one feet has got 12 inches. So basically all you have to do is multiply this thing with 12 to get the value in inches, right? So I'll display the message first, value in inches is the percentage of format specifier. And then you type in miles times 5280 times 12 right that would give you the value in inches you put a semicolon to terminate the statement now i'll click on build and run to see the output so we are asked to type in the input oh, so, sorry we are asked to input the distance in miles and let me just type in 10 as the input so let's see what 10 miles uh, are equivalent to so 10 miles are equivalent to 16 kilometers right and um, the value in feet is 52800, that's 52,800. And the value in inches is 633,600, right? And obviously all these are floating point values. So that's why you see the, you know, um, strings uh, of zeros, you know, after all the values. And uh, that's it, you know, it's a very simple program. Uh, it's just doing something um, that, you know, isn't using a new concept. And um, you know we've discussed a lot of C concepts, and for a change, I just wanted to take up something light. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial, in which we're going to discuss something 
important and fresh and um, stay tuned for updates and thank you for watching this one and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, well that's all see you soon